Well, it's all set. Dr. Nosy, next week at 10. Well, that wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah, well, I still hate her. I mean, she wasn't even mad that I walked out. You're so weird. Yeah, just part of my charm, I guess. Who's the letter from? A landlord again. Did he offer to go down on the rent for no. the new lease? No. He uh, told me not to call anymore and to stop asking. If we can't handle it, he wants us out by June 1st. So what are we going to do? I don't know. I want to say, uh, let the greedy old buzzard have his stupid building. Then she said, come on out to Seattle and see the new bookstore me and Ralph Love have opened. Well, I guess they're as happy as they can get. It's funny, isn't it? Everything's always either about love or money. I wonder why I always feel left out. Miss Gannon. Good evening, Judge Hawthorne. Good evening. I believe this is the second time in less than a week that you've arrived at my front door uninvited. I hope this is not going to become a regular habit. Oh, no, Your Honor. I, I'm very sorry to disturb you. It, it can't wait. Don't you have a family? Uh, yes. Then I'm sure you must appreciate how irritating it is to be interrupted while I'm having a nice time with mine. Now, I'm sure whatever you have to tell me, Miss Gannon, it can wait until tomorrow morning. No, I'm sorry. It can't. You see, Your Honor, um, it has been brought to my attention some new information that may affect uh, drastically the outcome of this trial. Oh. Congratulations. I'd love to talk to you about it. Tomorrow. No, uh, you, I, you, I don't think you understand what I'm saying, uh, Your Honor. I, I'm not... I'm not prepared to present this information. I need a day to investigate it. I have to fly out of state. Would you please grant me a brief continuance? No, I will not. I refuse to grind this trial to a halt every time you find yourself ill-prepared. Now, Miss Gannon, I suggest that whatever time you have left to your devices this evening, you do it to uh, bring yourself up to speed. Good night. Excuse me, Your Honor, with all due respect, but I think there's some things I need to point out to you. Oh, yes, and pray, what are they? I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but you have absolutely overruled me on every major issue in this trial. You have, you have, you've denied my petition for change of venue, you, you dismissed my challenges to the juror on voir dire, and you have overruled every objection that I made to the introduction of evidence. You're not implying... I am implying, Your Honor, that on appeal it may look as though you've acted with bias towards me and my client, and as you know, that would give me the basis I need to demand a new trial, which, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think you want to see that happen. Of course, however, if you were to grant me this continuance, it would greatly, <clears throat> well, it would considerably weaken my demand. You don't give up easily, do you, Miss Cannon? Very well. Continuance granted. Thank you, Your Honor. I knew you were a very reasonable man. But for one day only. I expect to see you in my court the day after tomorrow, 9 a.m. Absolutely. And Miss Gannon. Yes. I hope you find that evidence you're looking for, because this is absolutely your last chance. Why didn't you just let me give you the money? Let me help you. I mean, you're probably telling Luna and Cord right now. <sighs> I just wish that I knew what... <sighs> Hi, you've reached Cord Roberts. Sorry I'm not available to take your call, but if you leave a message, I'll get back to you real soon. Hello, Cord. It's Blair. Where are you? <laughs> Probably out working hard, no doubt. Listen, it's about 
Oh, it's about 7.30 and I am just dying of hunger. I was wondering if you maybe wanted to meet me for dinner this evening. If so, give me a call. I'm at Dorian's and um, I'd love to see you. Bye-bye. Hey, sugar. You're home. Yep. Mm. Mm. Well, sure am. Uh, what, what do you want to talk to me you about? You must be starving. I got three chicken dinners from Wanda's in there. I'm going to go get them and heat no, them up. No, 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 no. Well, what, did you want some nails? Maybe, uh... <clears throat> no, listen, I'm, I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. Uh, listen, I'm glad you're here. I... I need to talk to you two about something. About what? Oh, listen, uh... You first. You fr I mean, I walked in, you were talking about something. You, uh, what did you want to ask me? Well, Max, see, I've been thinking that maybe we should make a slight change in the financial decision-making policy of the company, and Luna agrees with me. Well, what kind of change? Well, I think that we ought to, ought to promise that um, no one partner can make any financial decision without the written consent of the other two partners. And I also think that we should have a document written up to that effect, and we should all sign off on it to make it binding. A lot of small businesses handle their finances like this, Sugar. It's no big deal at all. No big deal. No. No big deal. What am I, stupid? Huh? You think I don't know why all of a sudden you want to do this? I thought I knew who my real friends were. I can't believe this. You don't trust me, do you? Do you? <laughs> 